Maya Reese, la jefa. Yeah. yeah, where you going? Where you going? Contigo, papi. <laughs> DJ Thinking, baby. Dale, mami, dale, 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 papi, dale, dale. Dale, papi, dale, 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 papi, dale, dale. Dame un beso. Mua. Folks, as always, this is your host, Talik, for Vocab TV, Vocab Magazine, and we're coming to you from the Bayshore area with the MikeBooth.com show for the troops. And uh, with, no, with no introduction, you can see who's standing to my right, straight off that show, you know, love and hip hop. Um, we don't want to talk about that right now. We basically want to talk about the show for the troops and things like that. We got to show support for our troops. So let us know a little bit about this show and the things that you're working on right now. Sure, no problem. Uh, well, right now, I'm on a U.S. tour with the troops. And I'm performing in different cities. You know, I just did one for uh, Marines, Navy, Army. Today we're here at the 69th uh, Infantry. And so this is really my focus has always been really just performing and giving back. And if I can perform and give back at the same time, it's always better. But today's show is real important. And the guys uh, are actually being sent out to Afghanistan, like, in a few minutes. So this was a very touching moment for me. Um, I held back my tears because it is a very hard situation. The families were here, the kids were here, the wives. So it's a really big deal, you know. Immediately after the performance, they have to go to Afghanistan and, and fight for us. Yeah, no. Commendable. Yeah, we always want to, you know, show, you know, appreciation to our troops and things like that. We actually right across the street from the memorial where they bring all of our troops in that, you know, unfortunately lose their lives over there. And, you know, as you can see the background, they're here with their families and things like that. But, you know, yeah, and you, we definitely got to show you, a, you know, give you A plus on that for coming out here and showing support for the troops and things like that. But, you know, I mean, we're, we're a magazine, a fashion magazine about style, fashion, beauty, swag. And, uh... But we also want to know, like, what's been going on with your career. You know, after the show Love and Hip Hop, everybody know you from there. But we just want to know what's been going on with your career since then. Sure, no problem. But like, like I was saying, I'm doing concerts for the troops right now. Um, I'm very much just focused on my music. That's really why I came out to New York originally. And then, you know, as you saw on the show, you know, um, was a little bit, got a little unfocused. But we back on track. I'm working on my album. I'm also working on a Latin album, all Spanish for the Latino market. And it's called Rebel with a Cause, and it is like a, it's a mixtape, but it's all album material style music, original beats, full songs, songs that are, one of them already is on the radio. And I'm also focused uh, really just on building my brand, my accessory line, my shoe line. I have my own tequila coming out. It's called La Jefa Tequila. I'm the first woman female owner with full rights from Mexico, and it's a premium brand tequila. You know, we all like to party, so, you know, and I like tequila. Um, so this is something that I'm definitely uh, solely working on right now at the moment and just expanding the brand with fashion and style. When I first came out here, I didn't have anything with me. I had, like, a bag, and now that I have been out here, I have all my things here, and things are working out great, and we're filming season two of Love & Hip Hop. That's what's going on. We're definitely going to look forward to seeing you there. But uh, talking about accessories, we also have a line and a segment in our, in our magazine for accessories. I'm looking at these things that you have here. Uh, is this you? This is all me right here. Uh, it's, you know, La Jefa, the boss, lady accessories. And we will be putting it out through XSRE, which is an existing brand. And it will be in stores, online, everywhere available. And it's, it's uh, affordable for the average woman. And we also have a little bit of a higher line for it and eventually we'll you know go into clothing and things of that nature but for now i'm doing high heels as well which is what i was made fun of on the show for but i am having my own stiletto brand coming out as well oh, that sounds real good so uh you know we want to stay focused on the music a little bit because you know you know we, we we see what you have to offer i know you do a little bit of singing as well as uh flowing and things like that what kind of musical should we look forward to coming from you you know going into the new season of love and hip-hop and things like that and some of the artists that you're going to be working with and things of that nature sure uh well uh the one thing that i was really greatly disappointed in season one is that they didn't let me showcase the style of music that i really make however the song that i made would you still love me that jim did not get on but xo did did phenomenal it did exactly what it was gonna do it's in television placements i have a commercial placement for it it's on the radio and it was 
it's just a poetic style song. It wasn't really something to go dumb hard on. And I love it because it's how I feel. You know, I am a person that, you know, guys aren't the only ones that get used for things. You know, I've, I've been through that as well. But I am focused that what, you, what to expect as far as musically in season two is more money, more problems. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of twists and turns. You know, what really happens like when you in music business, like in hip hop, um, I'm working with a lot of artists. I have J Mills, French Montana, Crooked Eye, because uh, I'm still a hip hop lover at heart. The style of music I make is very much along the lines of the Pitbull J Lo with rap. So I like to still keep my hip hop with me because I love it. I grew up on it, and it's something that I love. Nas being my favorite artist of all time, Illmatic is like I, the album is amazing, and I'm from Cali, but I absolutely embrace. New York, and I'm not on that whole East Coast, West Coast thing. It's kind of childish to me. We're trying to make money over here, <laughs> you know? So I'm really focused on that, and there's a lot more artists um, on um, some you might not know that are Spanish artists, um, Louis James, uh, Richie Peña, Jimmy Greco. Um, these are Grammy people, you know, both producers and artists, and Frankie Negron, and there's a lot more to come. Pitbull, maybe, you know. Uh, it's just an incredible time for me. And I was really disappointed that, you know, Love & Hip Hop Season 1 didn't show it. But this time, they better show it. I'm definitely pushing for it. So, you know, a lot of drama. Oh, my gosh. You guys, Season 2 is going to be, like, crazy. And it's not because of me, all right? It's just all kinds of crazy things that are happening. And it's... I promise you, season two is gonna be insane. We see you grinding, we see that you, you know, you're saying focus and things like that, and it's gonna be a tough grind for you, but you said something about coming from Cali. I wanted to know, like, how is it with the work balance being out here on the East Coast with a lot of your friends and family back over in Cali? Sure. Well, one thing that I always want people to know is that I go hard for my dreams, and I'm a humble girl, and I don't care if I had to come with one bag and, and live how I had to live and humble myself to make it happen. I left my mom, I own my own house in LA. My mom lives in there, she's lonely, she misses me. You know, but I'm blessed to have an XO in my life, which you guys saw there too, you know, takes care of her, watches out for her, my father. It's very hard, you know, there's not a lot of people that I would really call friends in general, but really leaving my grassroots and where I came from was very difficult. However, I will humble myself for my dream. I'm still a grinder, I'm earning my stripes while paying my dues. And I don't, I, don't, I don't mind saying that. I don't want an easy handout. That's not what Samaya does. I'm a boss. I'm self-made. I made my own money, bought my own house, my own car. And, you know, now we're dealing with more money, you know. I turned down a couple record deals that I was offered out here. Not because I, I think I'm better than them, but because I wasn't getting what I wanted. 360 deals is not the business. Even if you get a really nice chunk of change up front for your advance, it's I built everything I was, I am, and you know, it's, it's something I'm not looking forward to doing. So, you know, we messing with investors now. I got three of them that are putting everything behind me and they believe in my project. And I really believe that this time for season two, I really hope that people know and that always know that I earned everything myself. Nobody gave it to me and I am a nice person, but if you step to me a certain way, you can't expect to do that and a bomb not to go off. You know, but I'm just a strong woman. I'm so very Latina and I'm embracing my culture. No doubt. That's all love and everything like that. And like I said, we're looking forward to you. But like I said earlier, you know, this is the home of beauty, swag, and fashion. We beauty, swag, and fashion. So uh, <laughs> let us let the people out there in Vocab TV know, like, how do you put it down when you're going out, you know, to enjoy yourself on your leisure time? Sure. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm definitely a homebody. Um, I, I'm, I'm a, a movie potato is what I call it. I like to watch a lot of movies. But when I do go out, it's different out here in New York. You really go out all the way in style, you know, from your fashions to going out and having a good time to good dinners, you know, maybe a club once in a while. I prefer to get paid to be at the club, though. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm really into the fashion thing. So, like, oh, everybody that's looking now, I'm pretty sure they want to get a better grasp of Samaya and things of that nature. Why don't you give everybody out there like all of your outlets, your forum, where they can reach you? Sure. Uh, well, if you go to my website, MissReese.com, that's M-I-S-S-R-E-E-C-E. -E -E. My Twitter is on there, which is at Samaya underscore Reese. My Facebook, which is just Samaya Reese. My YouTube, my videos, and all the news. I currently have a Lionsgate film out right now, 
where I scored the soundtrack for it, my song. I'm also playing myself some Maya Reese in it, and I am the idol of the film. It's called Go For It, and it's getting great reviews in the New York Times, LA Times, all the Daily Digest, Time Magazine. So this is a big blessing. Go to MissReese.com. You guys can find me there and just keep rooting for the underdog. <laughs> no doubt, and we're definitely going to be in your corner. This is Vocab TV, as always. You know, there you have it, Samaya in a nutshell. A lot of things to come, a lot of things moving in the future. We got people walking. It's all right, though. It's the troops. We're here to support the troops. As always, this is your host, Tali. Oh, that's what it is. Dates. No, it's all right. But uh, this is Tali, your host, Vocab TV, Vocab Magazine, where beauty, swag, and fashion is always our lifestyle. Is it yours? Till next time. Peace. Wanna step up in the party, all the boys can naughty. Turn off the lights, stop all the fights. Let's get crazy up in here, baby. We can dance all night. Ow. I ain't talking about the club, no. Once we out the club, though. Uh -huh. I don't gotta say no more. You know what's going down for show. Quiero que bailes conmigo, yo bailo contigo. Pero ponle sentido, ay. Let me see you shake them hips. Mene la cadera, mami, lift them lips. Uh -huh. Bobby, let me show you how it's done. Take you to my room, let's have some fun, fun. Oh, yeah? Come here, I'm gonna show you who's number one.